Hello third graders, Miss Frankum here. I'm very excited that for the next couple of weeks I will be your science teacher. Now during this time we are going to be studying weather and climate. By the end of this unit you'll be able to obtain and combine information about the weather in different regions of the world You'll describe the difference between weather and climate, and you'll be able to compare and contrast different climates from around the world. Now, to start with, our question is, what is weather? Well, the definition of weather is the condition of the air. And there's four different elements that scientists look at when they're studying the condition of the air. They look at the temperature, how hot or cold it is outside. They look at the wind speed and direction, how hard is the wind blowing and what direction is it coming from, north, south, east, west. Precipitation and cloud coverage. Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it snowing, sleeting? Precipitation and cloud coverage. And lastly, they look at humidity, how much moisture is in the air. Now, third graders, all of you are going to be obtaining and recording information about the weather in Chicago and in addition another location. So students who are from my classroom you'll not only record information about the weather in Chicago but also the weather in Barrow, Alaska. Students from Ms. Spore's class you'll be gathering information about the weather in Chicago and you have a choice whether you want to record the information from Las Vegas or Atlanta, Georgia. Students from Miss Wilson, Miss White's class record information about the weather in Chicago and Winnipeg, Canada. Students from Miss Paz's class record the information about the weather in Chicago and Cancun, Mexico. Now I will show you how we expect you to obtain and record the information about the weather in Chicago and your assigned location. The first part is easy. I want you to either look out a window or quickly step outside and look at the air around you. What do you see? Does it look cloudy? Is rain falling on your head? Is it sunny? And then also notice how the air feels. Do you feel warm or do you feel cold? Then write these observations down in the table you were given from this week's work. In addition, you will need to record specific information about the temperature, about the humidity, precipitation and cloud coverage, and wind speed and direction. Now you don't have barometers or thermometers, so you're going to use the information from the Weather Channel. You're going to go to weather.com. Then first search for Chicago, Illinois. Click on Chicago, Illinois, and there you have today's weather. It's 57 degrees, the wind speed 7 miles per hour, partly cloudy, little sun, and humidity is 68%. After you find the information on weather.com, you need to record the temperature, precipitation and cloud coverage, wind speed and direction, and humidity on your chart. So the day that I am doing this is Thursday, April 8th. And of course, I have my name at the top of my paper. And I'm just gonna fold this quick so you can see a little bit better what I am doing. Here we go. So it's the afternoon, the temperature, 57 degrees. It is partly cloudy. The wind is moving east, southeast at seven miles per hour. And the humidity is 68%. You'll need to repeat this process for your second location. So for students from my classroom, we're looking at Barrow, Alaska. Search for Barrow, click on it, scroll down, and then you can take a look at the weather there. Now, let's start with temperature. It is pretty chilly there. It is negative nine degrees, much colder than it is in Chicago today. Pretty sunny, wind is only blowing three miles per hour. 
and the humidity is 76 percent. Follow the same process for filling out the table for your class's second location. So again, my class is recording the weather from Barrow, Alaska. So today is Thursday, April 8th. Again, I'm just going to fold the paper quickly so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I am doing here. So the temperature in Barrow, Alaska today is negative 9 degrees. It is slightly cloudy. The wind speed is three miles per hour heading west and the humidity is 76%. Now, you probably noticed on your table that I'm asking you to do this five days a week, two times a day. Once in the a.m. and then again in the p.m., once before noon and once afternoon. And why do I want you to do that? That's because weather is constantly changing. Give me a thumbs up if you've ever walked outside in the morning and it was beautiful, sunny outside. Then by the time we got to recess, you had to stay indoors because it was raining. To show you how weather's changing, I'm going to show you two videos from right outside my house. One was on this beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day, and the other one was a cloudy day. Check out the weather, what's it like outside? Check out the ground, check out the sky. What word would you use to describe what you see? What is the temperature? How many degrees? Is it sunny when you look outside? Why is it so important to know about the weather? Well, the weather affects your life and what you're able to do, what you're able to wear. Remember when we had outdoor recess and it was 30 degrees, Miss Tammy, our recess coach, she wouldn't let you outside without a coat. Knowing the weather helps you plan for your life and to stay safe. Well, it has been a lot of fun talking to you about weather and showing you how you're going to obtain and record information about the weather this week. And I look forward to making you a new video next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. Check out the weather, what's it like outside? Check out the ground, check out the sky. What word would you use to describe what you see? What is the temperature? How many degrees?